Number 51. If the power output of the previous problem is 1,000 megawatts and the line resistance is 2 ohms, what are the old and new line losses? All right, so let's take a look at the power formula. P is equal to IV. If I know this output power here is going to be 1,000 uh, 1, megawatts, and by the way, that would be 1,000 now, converting that into watts, it would be 1,000 times 10 to the sixth, okay? And I also know from the prior problem that the output voltage there uh, was going to be 335 thousand volts again check out number 50 um, I can find then the output current right remember output power output current output voltage we are consistent right so therefore I know what I'm calculating here is going to be the output current so we're going to take the 1000 times 10 to the sixth divided them by 335,000 and I get an answer of about now I guess 2.9 I don't know 9 or so if you consider the rounding times 10 to the minus uh, sorry times 10 to the third all right that's going to be in terms of amps so now this is the output current, all right? So now if I want to find the power loss, what I need to do is I need to take this current that's flowing through the line, square it, and then multiply it by the resistance of the line because the resistance inside the line, that resistance of the line is a power loss, right? This is like in order to get the power from the company to your home, it has to travel through this resistance. So that's the amount that is being lost in the line, okay? So when I plug this on in now, power loss, it's going to be equal to the current that I have over here, right? So 2.99 times 10 to the 10 to the uh, third. That's going to be squared, and then multiply it by now the two. So this is now the power that's going to be uh, lost. So this is going to be that value squared, then multiply it by two, and here we get a power loss of about now 1.78 times 10 to the what do we got here? Three, six, seven. Okay, three to the seven. So it sounds like a lot. I mean, that is a lot of power, uh, but consider that, you know, the amount of power being supplied here is going to be 1,000 times 10 to the six. In other words, it's one times 10 to the ninth, you know, so that's about, what, a factor of three magnitudes less. So it's, you know, it's not that bad, but it's still a lot of power. All right, so what we got to do basically is we got to get rid of this old voltage. And now the new uh, voltage that's being supplied in the prior problem, they told us is going to be 750,000 uh, volts. So now we just got to do the 1,000 times 10 to the 6 watts and divide it now by that new 750,000. All right, and we're going to get now a current here that is flowing through the line of 1.33 times 10 to the third amps. Now we're going to take that new amp and plug it on into here now, 1.33 times 10 to the third amps. It's still 2 ohm, the line, right? So we're going to square it, and then we're going to multiply it by 2. And now we realize that the power loss, P loss, will be equal to then 3.56 times then 10 to the, let's see, 3, 6, all right? So as you can see, the power loss does appreciably drop. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Uh, if you can, give us a hand. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and we'll see you in the next problem. Take care.